Hello, I'm Steve Goodwich, and I'm the principal here at Stony Creek Middle School. And I am so delighted that you're here today so that I can tell you about our media arts program. What have we done with media arts? Well, what we've done, we've combined STEM and the arts and we've created STEAM. I know it's a concept that's been out there for a while, but here at Stony Creek, what we're doing is we're trying to take it to the next level. We're trying to be innovative. So what we've done is we combine the media arts into our STEM program. And what you're gonna to see today is a showcase of all the things that we've been working on uh, since the beginning of the school year. We even had a student bring in their own motorbike and the kids worked on it, learning how to change the oil and check the spark plugs. We had an opportunity to take our new digital video equipment out to the new Missouri Ridge school site and a few of the kids were able to see the new school and make a documentary that you guys are going to see later. Our students have had a lot of fun thinking about real world problems and learning how to solve them in our STEM and Genius Hour classes. And we had a lot of fun learning how to use the new digital video equipment. So one of the projects that our students have been working on is this. And this is affectionately called Job of the Hut. But here's how it started. One morning, one cold winter morning, our students found Ms. Fuhrer, our morning bus duty monitor, standing outside in the freezing cold, awaiting the students with a smile on it, as she always does. And they thought, wow, She's out here every morning freezing, so we need to help her. So they went to their STEM class and they came up with the idea of building this building, this hut, as they call it, job of the hut, so that in the mornings, when, the, when Miss Fuhrer is cold, she can go inside where it's heated and she can see the buses as they come and greet our students with a smile, just as she does every day. At Stony Creek Middle School, we are always looking for innovative ways to engage our students and help them be more successful. We're always encouraging them to be a part of our school as if it was a community. Not just a school, but a community. And one of those ways is through this school store. See, we didn't have a school store before, but we had two teachers who came up with the idea, Ms. McFarlane, our sixth grade teacher, and our guidance counselor, Ms. Reichen. They wanted to have a program in which students can earn money, but not real money, but school money we call greenbacks. The store was built by our STEM students and it's run by our student council. Another area that we're quite proud of here at Stony Creek is our science program. It was very important from the beginning that we had a hands-on, real-world science program. We didn't want kids just studying out of books. We wanted kids studying the real world. So Dr. Michael Cohen, our science teacher, he had the idea of planting a, a real garden and bringing in live animals, uh, specifically chickens. Dr. Cohen worked with our STEM students to build a chicken coop and also to build a fencing around for the garden area. And then they planted the garden together and then they've been raising the chicks together. And now our chicks are grown up and we have chickens running around all over the place. So the vegetables from the garden and the chickens that we have are used in a variety of areas. In our life science program, they're used to study heredity, genetics, ecology. In our family and consumer science program, we use the eggs from the chickens and the vegetables from the garden in a variety of ways. One way is we actually pickle some of the vegetables and sell them here at the store, and the kids love them. And we've incorporated the media arts into all these areas so that our students can show their peers, their parents, and their community what they've been learning here at school. But it's not just in the area of science that we've done that. We've done that in several other areas. Here's one example from social studies. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America.
Dr. Cohen, he's probably about the best science teacher I ever had. Yeah, Man. and I wish we could have a high school to stay with him and stuff. Yeah, high, high school, growing up with these teachers. We would probably be better off in life with these kind of teachers. Yeah, so I'm about to cry right now. Okay. Hey girls, I'm over here. What's this? This is our new school. That's so cool. That's amazing. You want to see it? Yeah! I'm Luna Rubio. I'm Mackenzie Emily. And this is Missouri Ridge Middle School. Concrete's going to have a big emblem in, it, in the concrete, stained concrete in the entry of the hawk, and also on, on the gym floor, there's going to be your logo. Today I'm here with Coach Johnson, and she is the PE teacher here at Stony Creek Middle School. So, Coach, what would you, what are you looking forward to at the middle school? The gym, of course. It's our first gym. Wow, I can't believe I'm standing in District 8's very first gym. Basketball hoop at that end and one right here at this end. I'm here at Ms. McFarland and she teaches 6th grade. She has been teaching at Stony Creek Middle School for 25 years. So, what are you looking forward to at the new school? I uh, guess I'm looking forward to the school being under one roof since we have individual modules out here. Also, the gymnasium. Uh, that's going to be a huge plus for our district. Hello, this is Miss Rye. She teaches math and she teaches here at Stony Creek Middle School. So, Miss Rye, what are you looking forward to at the new school? Our class sizes have gotten a lot bigger, so having more space in them would be really nice. Also, um, we're getting all new equipment next year for our classes, so that's going to be really exciting. Also, it's going to be so nice to have all of our classes in one building, so we won't have to go outside to go from one class to another, which is going to be really good, especially on our cold days. Wait, what about the classrooms? Can you go see one? Yep, classrooms are right down here. Eight classrooms, and then other various rooms like your business, your business center, and your offices for your teachers and your staff, the principal, and uh, it'll be the cafeteria, the kitchen, the locker room. Hello, I am here with Dr. Cohen, who teaches seventh and eighth grade science at Stony Creek Middle School. So, what are you looking forward to at the new school? I'm really looking forward to the expanded resources we're going to have available. The physical plant is going to allow me to have a STEM class where we can hopefully do some robotics, work on some big projects. We're also going to have an area um, for uh, doing the green room type stuff that we're doing now. I'm looking forward to that. My greatest hope is honestly what's not there yet. I'm hoping that eventually we can get a barn and some outside things. That's honestly what excites me the most. I am really excited. I wish I was like done like now already so we can come to the school. We're going to be finished um, for you so you can go to school in it in the school year of 2018.
making all this possible were grants that were provided to Stony Creek Middle School from Statoil and the North Dakota Council of the Arts, as well as several community volunteers who came in to work with our students. Nick Amatangelo of KUMV-TV came in and worked with our students to show them how a television news production is made. Our students were able to visit the KUMV-TV studio to see all the different aspects that go into a simple news program. Joel Peterson of B&G Oil Services also volunteered his time so that he could bring some of his high-tech drones in and show our students how his company uses them in the oil field and in the agricultural industry. He also spoke to the students about aerial cinematography and his experience working in Hollywood in the film and television industry. Through an Arts in Education grant from the North Dakota Council of the Arts, we were able to partner with Eric Tomke and Matthew Maldonado of ND Strong, a Minot-based production company. Matt and Eric spent a week at Stony Creek Middle School working with our students on the ins and outs of digital film production. Tonight you will see the culmination of their work with our students as we premiere our first short film, The Mark of the Emoji. Matt and Eric also work with our teachers to give them ideas on how they can incorporate digital media into their lessons. Here's a sample of what they did. Hey guys, what's going on? Eric here with Matt. So we challenged the teachers at Stony Creek Middle School to create their own mannequin challenge within their content area using either the equipment that they purchased through their school or their mobile devices, which we are currently using. Uh, if you don't know what a mannequin challenge is, a mannequin challenge is like this. Essentially, all you're doing is freezing. But what we wanted to do is challenge the teachers to think in a creative way, using media to engage the students and let their subject matter speak for themselves. If it's history, maybe they're dressed up as George Washington and they're frozen as George Washington during some event in history. Or maybe it's a science project showing how chemistry works through the mannequin challenge. We haven't seen any of these videos. We're super excited to check them out with you guys right now. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. 
Washington upon a slap in stallion. A given orders to his men, I guess there was a million. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, that and deep. Find the music and the step and with the girls be handy. This is only the beginning. With your help and support, we look forward to improving and developing our media arts program and offering dynamic, fun, innovative ways for our students to showcase their learning. And now, without further ado, we give you Stony Creek Middle School's first short film, The Mark of the Emoji.